hello collective welcome back welcome back to the channel um i just wanted to do this read for you guys just to see what messages angels might have for you today um but let's get into this part first be sure that you like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not already um and you already know that how special you are how much of a diamond that you are um if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure that you do that my darlings because you don't know what you're missing and for all my return and seekers, know that I love you guys so, so much. You guys rock. I'm going to get into a quick prayer, y'all. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm just going to get into this quick read for my collective and see what comes through. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. And when really, Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, collective. Um, just take what resonates to you and leave the rest, okay? It's a collective reading, so it will not um, resonate. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate to every single one of my collectives here that is watching today. Take what's yours and leave the rest, okay? All right, angels. What's the messages for my collective, please? What's the message for my collective, please? I needed more I needed more from you. Wait, the timing is not quite right. It's over, no more hurt and pain. The attraction you feel is mutual. Believe me, sweetheart, you ain't missing out on nothing. Where am I now? I have a serious abandonment issue that I need to clear first before we can truly be together. Restarting my life. Walk away. I really want to tell you the truth. I felt alone in this situation. Life is beautiful. Embrace it. Don't pressure me. Too many people's opinion in this relationship. You and this person don't share the same vision. All right, y'all. Let's get into your cards. All right, collective, what I'm seeing here is someone that needed more from you. I do feel like um, for some of you here, um, this person might have really wanted you to go all the way in deep. And I feel like for some of you must have did just that with this entire situation, with this entire relationship that you found yourself in. But this person needed more from you. I do feel like you have felt like you couldn't give any more here. I do see this person um, being very selfish. Um, this person might have been very manipulative here. 
I do feel like you might have even tried to kind of sway your way into really giving more than you already have been given. But all I see here is a one, two, three, four, okay? Now, hmm, wait, the timing is not quite right. I do feel like someone is either um, wanting to give this entire situation another chance, a second chance. Um, I do feel like someone was either weighing their options with themselves, within their self to kind of figure things out, but still feeling like a sense of missing remorse. Like you wanted to really see what this person had to offer this time around. But angels are saying that the timing is just not quite right here to make that forward movement, that backward movement for some of you, because that's how it feels coming it through. It is, it's over, no more hurt and pain. Someone maybe decided to put an end to this relationship. Or right, this could be you that is coming through this way that's really wanting to put an end to it because it's a lot of hurt that's been here. I do feel for some of you, maybe even try to have this person come towards you with some kind of forgiveness here. But I do feel someone making a, a rash decision to kind of walk away from what one was feeling, inner feeling, inner thoughts, what you really wanted here. But I do see a very strong connection that is coming through. If this is not a love connection, it's more feels like a sexual connection. And what I do feel is that two people might definitely feel the same about each other, having this sexual desire for each other. And I do feel like this sexual addiction between these two people, um, it feels more like one that um, the sex was the only thing that was amazing in this relationship. But that's all that was good for some of you. I do also feel like it's time that you believe in yourself, okay? But someone is saying here, believe me, sweetheart. You ain't missing out on nothing, okay? It's just saying that you're missing out on nothing here. You're not missing out on nothing. You're not missing out on leaving your heart for some of you behind. This had to happen. But where am I now? Ask yourself, where am I now? Where do I fit in? What I do feel, a situation coming back to you. I have a serious abandonment issue that I need to clear before we can truly be together. I do feel like this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. If this is your person's energy, your person has done this before. For some of you, your person might have already abandoned you times 10 and others as well. I do feel like the clear mind is needed, but yes, the clear mind is not the only issue at hand here. Restarting your life is a must here, okay? Because that's what's coming through here. Restarting your life for better. Restarting your mind for a few things that is needed to be added into your present, okay? Walking away is a necessary thing right now. It is needed for your healing, healing process. I also feel for some of you here, someone really wants to tell you the truth. I feel like this truth has been holding back for quite a some time here. Someone doesn't know how to even tell the truth because they have built a relationship on so much lies for so long. But what I do feel here, okay, that someone felt very alone in the relationship. And I do feel like this could be you, collective. That really felt alone. You felt abandoned here. You felt that this person isolated you and left you stuck in the wind here, okay? Feeling lost, like there was nowhere to turn, yet like you felt like there was no one to talk to, to really um, relate on exactly how you were truly, really feeling. For some of you felt really embarrassed here to really talk to anybody and to ask them, even for a solid advice on to what road to turn or to where to journey. Ages of anxiety is coming through, but some of you definitely felt with some kind of anxiety here because someone was being very vicious towards you. Life is a beautiful thing. Life is beautiful. Angel wants you to embrace your life. Do not give up. Do not think this is the end of the road because there is an opportunity that is coming that is new. Something is ending here and something needs to end for life to start all over again. Someone is not 
want in your energy to be to have a sense of like you're forcing them to do what you want to do. Someone is feeling rather pressured. Not pressuring in the sense where you're pressuring them to commit, but pressure in the sense because they don't want to commit. Don't pressure me is what they're saying. Do not pressure me. Do not pressure me. There's too many people's opinion in this relationship, okay? I feel like over here, others were saying this, and over here, others were saying that. And I do feel like it definitely complicated a situation that might could have been uh, fixed. There was a lot of people's opinion here. You and this person, at the end of the day, I don't see you and this person sharing the same vision. You guys do not share the same vision here. Okay? Your person is day and you're a night. Or you're a night and your person is definitely day. But you guys don't share the same vision here. I'm getting your person does not share your dream. Whatever it is that you need to excel into, your person does not share your dream with you. Okay? Let me get some more messages here. Tell me more angels for the collective, please. Tell me more for the collective. What's the message for the collective? What is it that I need to share with the collective? Someone is broken hearted here. Someone wants to be happy again. Tell me more for the collective. And angels is with you as you face this challenging time in your life. Someone on the other side says you have faith in your dreams. So start dreaming big. Life is too short. Your person is thinking about a wedding. Let's talk about these three cards, y'all. But let's see what's on the back of the deck. You needed to grow up. This could be your person's energy. This could be yours. But someone needed to grow up here. But just know you're not alone. An angel, an angel is with you as you face this challenging time in your life. You're definitely not alone, collective. <clears throat> and you need to know that you're not alone. You will never be alone. You're actually protected by someone that has been very close to you while they were here. This person has yet made a transition here. And they're coming through today to assure you. Wanted to give you this message. They're saying that you must have faith. You must have faith in your dreams. In what it is that you had started once before continue don't forget don't forget your dreams and have faith when you're moving forward to your dreams so start dreaming don't stop dream big this time big huge because life is too short life is too short someone wanted to come through to deliver that message to you now what i'm seeing here is your person is thinking about a wedding okay for some of you, this person might have already moved on here, okay? Your person might have already invested into somewhere else where there's a topic of a wedding that is coming through. It is the saying that someone needed to grow up here. Someone needed to grow up big time is what I'm seeing. Separation, take time away from each other because it's needed. Separation, take time away from each other because it's needed. Now, collective, that is your read for today. I hope it did resonate with you. Please do not forget to, to love yourself and love yourself first. And while you're loving yourself from first, make sure that you're loving yourself unconditional. 
because unconditional love starts within oneself. Okay? Whatever you give yourself on the inside, it will manifest on the outside. Always remember to pray, y'all, because prayer does go far away. Keep me in your prayers while I'll be keeping you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you will always find.